Are you the empath in your family? Or are you a practitioner who's also highly empathetic and sensitive and you work with lots of empaths because, hey, we attract who we are, right? So I'm Dr. Meg Hayworth, and in this video, I'm gonna talk about three tips that you can use when you are the empath in your family to help you get through this, what can be a, a difficult journey but doesn't really have to be. And I'll give you some tips to help you with dealing with this journey and how you can better yourself as you move along the way. So tip number one is first of all, if you are the empath in your family and you're highly sensitive and you are also highly intuitive, you're sponging in a lot of the negative emotional weight of people around you. Whether you've just discovered this or you've been on this pathway for many years of understanding that you're doing this and you've tried all kinds of things, you've tried all different types of exercises, methods of protection, all of those things. There's a lot of information out there and a lot of wonderful people that are doing great work in this field. Um, so, but first of all, what I want you to start thinking about is, is number one, is giving yourself permission to end your role in your family system of being the empath who's trying to keep the peace, who's trying to make everything better, who's sponging in, who's um, using your empathy and your sensitivity to help the people in the family system that may not have access to as much empathy as you do. Um, chances are there are there's somebody in your family system that is uh, pulling your empathy because they don't have much of it or any of it themselves. And so when you think about that energy dynamic that you're participating in, it might help you a little bit more with thinking about okay, and my role in this, like I can do this, I can end my role in the family system of being the empath who's pulling in all the negative emotional weight of the people around you. So the good news is, is that you no longer have to be the sponge, you're not required to be the sponge. So what it will take for you is you'll have to learn about the dynamic that you're playing in your family system and uh, learn how to unplug from that. Because if you think about energy dynamics, there's people that will plug into you and basically you're gonna feel like you're drained or your energy is being sucked by them. But you learn how to unplug from that plug and there are ways to do that. You don't have to remain in this role in your family system. You can really change the way that you see yourself and the way that you act and react within your family system. And so this brings me to number two, and that's to do your emotional release work. So chances are great that if you are the empath in your family system, there was probably some kind of abuse that you went through. It could be mental, emotional, uh, physical, sexual, uh, intellectual, you know, where you're told you weren't that bright, um, when in fact you might even be genius level. It's just maybe you just didn't fit into the traditional school systems and the way that they think and the way that they do things. So learning about your own relationship to the, the things that happened around you doing emotional release work and when i say that emotional release work really has to do with letting go of how your body has uh, encapsulated these emotions um, they've even found in science that uh, cortisol which is one of the hormones cortisol and, and adrenaline are released when they're needed to help you get through difficult experiences but when you grow up in a toxic environment uh, cortisol and adrenaline are being released over and over and over again and they eventually become toxic to the body and they've found high levels of cortisol in the muscles where you're holding the memories um, of the experience that happened many years ago um, or even experiences that might have happened relatively recently because we continue to do this throughout our lives we continue to encapsulate the uh, difficult negative experiences that we have in our body systems which is why somatic therapies work so well and if you don't know much about somatic therapies um, soma means body and those are 
uh, body therapies. You'll hear about body workers using them. Um, and I also work somatically, but I do a somatic talk therapy. So I kind of bridge the gap between uh, somatic therapy and talk therapy to help people release rapidly the negative emotional uh weight that you're carrying inside your energy system, which translates to your biological system because it's all one thing. You're a holistic system, mental, emotional, physical, and energetic. And so I work mainly with the energy system, uh, which is often, which is really uh, about your emotional energy and your emotional life. And so you can rapidly release that um, through uh through emotional release work. So um, that's one of the things I do, and there's a lot of people out there that are doing similar work. So having said that, it's very important to do your your own work. Um, you probably are, and you probably have been for a long time, and you may even feel really frustrated with that because you feel like that's all I do is, is work through my stuff. But there are ways to shift it. You're your relationship to empathy and how you're using your empathy. There's ways to shift it, which actually brings me to my third tip, <laughs> which is learn ways to shift your emotional life from fear to love. This is really about raising your consciousness. It's about remembering who you really are and not just remembering who you really are, but staying in the frequency of who you really are. Moving through your life in who you know you, yourself to really be, and that's you are love. You are made of love, you are made of light, you are made of peace, compassion, kindness, caring. Those are all spiritual qualities that any of us can access at any time. And every single person on the earth has these qualities inside of them as well. Even ones that seem completely evil will have those qualities in them. They're just buried so deep because there's a really big difference between who you think you are, you were told you were, what your patterns, your emotional patterning um, made you to be, and who you were expected to be. You know, like if your family expected you to hold this job, everyone in our, our family's a doctor and you need to be a doctor too, that kind of thing. But your heart was really calling out for something else. And so that was the who you think you are. It's the personality um, of who you think you are. And then the difference between that and then the who you know you are. And the who you know you are is where the deeper truths of higher consciousness really resonate with you when you hear them and feel them and know them. One of the great things about being an empath and a sensitive and an intuitive is that you are feeling and sensing your way through life. And you can just as easily feel compassion and love and caring and kindness as you can feel fear and guilt and shame and uh, the, all of these negative emotions that we feel. But if you're carrying those negative emotions, you also can release them. You can also let them go. These parts of the self, this guilt, shame, fear, sadness, grief, and I'm talking about toxic grief, you know, grieving is a normal part of life. All of those emotions are a normal part of life, but I'm talking about when they get encapsulated in the body and then they cause pain and illness over time. That's the stuff that I help people release, and I help them with that and their nutrition, uh, with food that they can eat. I was a nutritional chef in Hollywood for celebrities for about 15 years, and uh, it was just a lot of fun, um, that, but I learned a lot about specific foods that help to heal conditions and help your body to support itself while you're going through your emotional release work. So as an empath and a sensitive um, and an intuitive person, you know, whether you're a practitioner, a therapist, a coach, a healer, an entrepreneur, um, I have uh, a lot of help on my channel here. You can go and look at some of my other videos um, about empathy and sensitivity. There, you can learn about, you know, are you a highly sensitive empath? Um, are you a highly intuitive person as well? Um, those 
videos are on my channel um, and also there's videos about how uh, the negative emotional weight of past experiences get encapsulated in the body and you can learn more about that and I also do one-on-one -on -one therapy with people all over the world using my whole person integration technique which is an emotional release therapy that rapidly lets you release the energy it allows you to embrace those parts of yourself the guilt the shame the fear love it because just like any anyone your guilt and shame and fear they just want to be loved they want to be seen heard and understood just like you do and so i help you do that and i help you release that and i also certify coaches therapist healers and transformational entrepreneurs in my whole person integration technique and i teach them how to evolve their intuition because this is key for empaths is when you evolve your intuition um, you specifically hone it and you develop it you can heal your relationship between um, empathy and sensitivity and your role in your family <laughs> so I would love to help you with that if you want any in, more information go to meghayworth.com and learn more about that and I look forward to helping you get well now